So due to everything that's been going on around the termination of Slontotsky, such as Doki Bird's final statement towards Niji Sanji, Niji Sanji talent statements on the whole situation, Riku Tazumi's statement on the situation, a lot of people have been attacking Niji Sanji, the company, and also have been harassing the talents themselves. Which I do want to say right now, I do not agree with people harassing any talents. Doki Bird herself has requested that people do not harass any talents as well, as she wants to move on. But due to all of these events, with a lot of fans being upset that their favorite VTubers are being attacked, and the company Niji Sanji English is being attacked, they have started a tag on Twitter called hashtag positive span for Niji En. It went trending with a lot of posts of people sharing nice things for the libraries and sharing nice things for the company and showing support for the company, which upset a lot of people with a lot of people saying that they are enablers of the company. The tag then got taken over by a lot of people posting memes in it like the uh, Sinking Yacht song, people posting Riku Tazumi doing dumb stuff, posting memes from Reddit and talking about a song that Lyra Pandora had sung that, you know, kind of is a little sus in this situation and pretty much the entire hashtag got taken over by people doom posting for Niji Sanji and hating on the company like this person posting about the amount of subscribers Niji Sanji English has lost the only talent in Ian that has gained subscribers is Scarlet. As of right now as well, Doki Bird has officially surpassed Elira Pandora and is close to 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her for that. But amongst this entire situation, there have started to be people that do not believe anything that Doki Bird has been saying and are not siding with her whatsoever. A lot of those people being Japanese viewers that don't necessarily care about the situation that's going on. People who blindly support the company. However, there are also a lot of people on the English fan base that do not care about the situation and just want to watch their favorite talent. I posted this earlier today on Twitter, but this is someone in the comment section of Ike Evelyn saying, I don't care what they say, even if you killed a girl, we'll still stay with you. Showing that even if it is proven that Ike even was abusing or harassing Doki inside of Nichi Sanji, they would still support him no matter what. Which is a wild thing to think about and a disgusting thing to comment. Now again, I do not support people going after Ike or anyone in this situation whatsoever and harassing them. Let their audience keep supporting them. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Doki Bird herself wants people people to stop harassing them. She wants to move on from the situation and does not want people to go through the same thing that she went through. I'm just pointing this out because this is a disgusting comment. We also had some quote retweeting Doki with things like, I don't know, but those who had real attempts probably won't be tweeting slash sharing about it repeatedly as easily. I mean, to your family or only the closest friends, maybe not to the public, I guess. Saying, Doki Bird, please stop using this to get public sympathy. Attempts are not something light or in any way a ploy to get attention. So this person is downplaying Doki Bird's attempts and pretty much insinuating that they do not believe Doki Bird in the slightest and are saying that her attempts aren't even real, which is so gross to even think about or even say publicly. In the beginning of Doki's statement, she said she was ready to move on from all of this and had made her final statement on the situation. However, she was forced to respond and make the final statement that she did. If Niji Sanji hadn't said anything and made the situation worse, things would have definitely just blown over within another month. It would have been fine for Niji Sanji. They would have probably gotten their investors back, the situation would not be as bad as it is right now. Doki wanted to end things neutrally, wanted to move on with her life, and do what she wanted to do as Doki Bird without having to deal with this situation. Unfortunately, there has also been a streamer by the name of 39 Death who has pretty much attacked Doki Bird and spread misinformation. They were pretty much saying that Doki Bird's document was kind of insane and were saying things like she kind of publicly slandered and caused a witch hunt, which is wrong entirely. Doki Bird has constantly said multiple times not to harass anyone or go after anyone. She has never released any names whatsoever and she never even stated that she was bullied by liars inside of the company at all. When she dropped her statement after the termination, she said she was bullied bullied within and was not going to be silenced anymore, but she never said it was by Livers or anyone that was a co-worker of hers. Instead, you know who did release that information? Niji Sanji themselves in the termination letter, where inside of the termination notice, it said that Solentotsky stated that she was being bullied and harassed from within the company by fellow talents. Again, something that Doki Bird did not share herself and had no plans of even releasing it at. Niji Sanji did that themselves and has only made the situation even worse for themselves time and time 
time again. And now with all this going on, there has also been a new document that has come up titled Slintotsky slash Doki Bird and Niji Sanji Ien, a different truth. And this document is getting spread around amongst Niji fans on Twitter using the positive Niji Ian spam hashtag as well, trying to pretty much use this document as a way to support the talents inside of Niji Sanji. And the document is so disappointing to read based on a lot of the things that they say. I'm not going to read the whole document here. I'm just going to read the uh, the TLDR here. And, you know, I'll let you guys make an opinion. I am going to read the entire document on stream, though. So, you know, if you want to hear more about it, wait for my stream later today. I'll get into the reason why I'm not going to read the entire document in a moment after we read the TLDRs and, and takeaways they want people to have from this. They said the simplistic narrative of Niji Sanji Black Company and Selene's claims that she made no profit in the past year are incredibly misleading. Calling these out does not make someone a company bootlicker. Any color has many flaws. Instead, it demands a focus on the facts. That statement and takeaway alone is wild to me. Selene saying she made no profit is not misleading whatsoever. She spent $200,000 of her own money to fund her music videos, projects, and events that she was planning. The company did not help her out whatsoever with any of those. Later on in the document, they try and, you know, excuse the fact that the company doesn't pay for these things at all. It's not misleading for people to say that she made no profit when Doki Bird herself made no profit. Also, saying that it's misleading to call the company a black company is a bit of a stretch as well with all of the facts that we have. They also say there are important contradictions and omissions between the different statements made by any color, the Livers, and Selin. Since the final Nichi Sanji in statement so far, Selin's attitude towards legal activity in the overall situation appears to have changed somewhat. It hasn't changed. Doki has stated multiple times that she wants to move on from this situation. She always wanted things to end neutrally, but she was forced to make that final statement. Her stance on the situation has not changed. She wants to move on. That is it. And then they said, as long as Selin provides no evidence of this bullying harassment, every liver under Nichi Sanji Ian will continue to suffer immense levels of harassment that has prevented every liver from carrying out their jobs to different extents. So what they're pretty much saying is that they would like Selin or Doki Bird to release the names, which would only make matters worse. Doki Bird not releasing the names is doing justice for them. She's not giving confirmation on who bullied her because she does not want those people to be harassed off the internet or go through anything that she went through. Sure, right now, the talents are receiving hate, and that sucks. I 100% agree. People should not be receiving harassment. At the same time, releasing the names would only make things worse. They also then had an entire segment dedicated to borderline personality disorder to try and, you know, clear up some situations around Doki Bird and try and, you know, make more things make sense, which is wild to me. But uh, that's a thing that I thought I should maybe be bring up to you guys. Like I said, though, there have been a lot of Niji Sanji fans trying to spread this document who have since been community noted by people. The community note reading the document contains multiple downplays and comparisons towards Selin's mental health and work life. It also completely neglects the fact that Selin herself, now Doki Bird, found out about her termination only after the announcement and links to Doki Bird's tweet where she said that. There have also been people that have quote retweeted saying, just like positive spam from Niji Ian, this document was created by users of an infamous site focused on doxing and harassing VTubers, especially Hololive members, a site that even VT considers the lowest of scum. But yeah, quite a roller coaster this video was. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you all think about everything we talked about down below. Hit that subscribe button and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.